This video describes tests for multivariate normality added to Stack Graphics 18. Multivariate normality tests are used to determine whether a set of multivariate observations could reasonably have come from a multivariate normal distribution. A multivariate normal distribution for m variables is characterized by m means, m variances, and m times m minus 1 over 2 covariances or correlations. The marginal distribution of each variable is normal. As an example, you see here measurements taken on pieces of lumber. Measurements were made of both the stiffness and the bending strength. You'll notice if you look at the bivariate histogram that there's a sense of positive correlation between those two variables. To test whether our data could have come from a multivariate normal distribution, we'll set up the following hypothesis test. The null hypothesis will be that the variables do come from a multivariate normal distribution. The alternative hypothesis will be that they do not. The first test we'll look at is called Royston's H test. It combines the Shapiro-Wilk test for each of the M variables. We'll also look at a chi-square generalized distance plot. To that plot we will apply the Anderson-Darling goodness of fit test to see if in fact the generalized distances do come from a chi-square distribution. I've loaded the sample data into the Stack Graphics 18 data sheet. I'll now go to describe multivariate methods, multivariate normality test. I'll select the two columns that contain my data and press OK. This will open up an analysis window with the results of the tests. The analysis summary on the left shows the sample statistics for stiffness and bending strength. It also shows the estimated correlations. In this case, there's a correlation of about 0.55 between the two variables. This is based upon a sample of 30 observations. In the table labeled normality tests, you see the Shapiro-Wilk test applied separately to stiffness and bending strength, and also Royston's H test, which combines those two results. The most important value on the screen is the p-value corresponding to Royston's H test. If that number is greater than 0.05, we will not reject the null hypothesis and therefore conclude at the 5% significance level that our variables could have come from a bivariate normal distribution. A second way to test whether our data come from a multivariate normal distribution is to look at this chi-square plot. In a chi-square plot, we plot the squared generalized distances between our data points when plotted in an m-dimensional space and the centroid of the data. If in fact the data come from a m variable multivariate normal distribution, then these squared distances should come from a chi-square distribution with m degrees of freedom. You see a plot of the generalized distances with the fitted CDF, in this case of a chi-square distribution with two degrees of freedom. It falls nicely within the 95% kolmogorov smirnov limits. Of particular importance is the Anderson-Darling statistic shown at the right. If the p-value was less than 0.05, we would reject the hypothesis of multivariate normality at the 5% significance level. In this case, 
There's therefore no reason to reject the hypothesis that stiffness and breaking strength are characterized by a bivariate normal distribution. If we were to reject the hypothesis of multivariate normality, it's possible that applying a transformation to one or more of the variables will give us a metric in which the multivariate normal distribution is a reasonable assumption. The analysis options dialog box gives us two ways to transform our data. First, we could apply a box Cox transformation to each variable separately. A box Cox transformation takes our data and raises it to a power lambda after possibly adding an add n delta. If lambda is not equal to zero, it's a power transformation. If lambda is equal to zero, it's a log. A second option is to apply a multivariate power transformation. This determines simultaneously the powers for each of the variables and possibly add ends for each of the variables so as to maximize the profile likelihood function shown here. To illustrate the use of transformations, I've loaded a second data set into the Stack Graphics data sheet. This data set contains 1,000 measurements of the thickness, weight, and strength of manufactured items. To determine whether this data could reasonably have come from a multivariate normal distribution, I'll go to Describe, Multivariate Methods, Multivariate Normality Test. I'll select the three columns and press OK. You'll see here that the p-value for Royston's H test is zero, indicating that the data could not have reasonably come from a multivariate normal distribution. To apply a transformation to the data, I'll push my right mouse button and select Analysis Options. The first approach I'll take will be to apply a Box Cox transformation to each variable separately. If I do that and press OK, you'll see the statistics change. In particular, the Box Cox transformation has determined that the optimal power for thickness is close to zero. That's very close to taking a logarithm of thickness. Weight has not changed much. The power is only 0 0.78. On the other hand, strength is raised to the 2.7 power. This approach gives a p-value for Royston's H test of 0.822, indicating that if I transform the variables in this manner, they will reasonably be modeled by a multivariate normal distribution. I can also try the multivariate power transformation approach. This determines all three powers simultaneously. In this case, it says that the optimal power for thickness would be 0 0.09, for weight 1.5, and for strength 3.75. The p-value for Royston's H test is also acceptable, but smaller than it was when each variable was optimized separately. In practice, you may not want to use such complicated powers. Instead, we can use these powers as suggestions for ways to transform our data. What I'm going to do now is go back to analysis options and turn off the transformations. I'm then going to go to the data input dialog box and apply the following. For thickness, I'm going to take a log. Weight, I'm going to leave untransformed. Strength, I'm going to raise to the 2.5 power. That gives me quite a good result for Royston's H. I should also check the chi-square plot 
In this case, the Anderson-Darling statistic finds no reason to reject the idea that the square generalized distances come from a chi-square distribution with three degrees of freedom. In other words, taking the transformation I've selected here provides a metric in which I can be reasonably certain that the multivariate normal distribution will be an appropriate model.